the fourth question in this example is to find the marginal rate of change in total profit when output is two units. So to explain something about what we mean by the marginal rate of change, it's really um, an, an economic term that we're familiar with. So marginal just means extra. Let's remove the rate of change. So what you're looking for here is to identify the extra profit that is earned if you increase your output to two units. And a definition really of um, a marginal profit would be the extra profit that's earned given a one unit increase in output. So we only have uh, output equal to two here. So the assumption would be that we're either moving from two to three units or we're moving from one to two units. So based on my example here, my solution, I'm going to assume that we move from one and then we're moving to two units. So we're increasing or our extra output is going to be one unit from one to two and we want to find out how much profit we would earn, how much extra profit we would earn from that increase in output. So again, we need the profit function that we derived from part A. It's just a note about this, by the way. Marginal profit is also telling us that you should get the first differentiation of the profit function. So that's the same if you have marginal revenue or marginal cost. Um, you need to differentiate the total revenue or the total cost function. So we already did this in the previous question um, where we differentiated. And rather than putting this to zero and solve for x, which will give us the uh, level of output that maximizes profit, what we'll do is we'll put the value of two into it. So if x was two, which we will end up with extra profit of 19. So that tells us that profit has changed by 19 euro, we'll say. So continuing on with the next part of that same question, we want to show that this is only an approximation. What that question is asking you to do is to find out what the actual profit is from one unit and then also find out what the actual profit is given two units and see what the change was. So the change that we'll find in this solution may be quite different to the value of 19 that we just done. So what we'll do is again, put in our profit function. When we had the value of two, we, let's find out what our profit is. So putting two in for X, we get a profit of 22. When we have assuming a level of output that was equal to one, again, we put that in for X and we solve for a profit. And in this case, we end up with a loss of three. So finding the difference between the two of those, 22 minus your other value, which happens to be minus three, will give us a value of 25. And comparing that to our previous um, approximated calculation where we got the marginal rate of profit, we had a value of 19, which is quite close to the actual extra profit that was earned using the formula.